What's up guys, Shane Starnes here, and if you're like me, then pretty much everything in your house has an internet connection. Not only are our TVs, cell phones, laptops connected to the internet, but by now we've got light bulbs, light switches, our vacuums, security cameras, even our coffee cups can be connected to the internet. To have the best possible experience, you're gonna need a great Wi-Fi mesh system. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Dynalink Wi-Fi 6E mesh system, the AXE 10200. Big shout outs to Dynalink for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and get started. First of all, let's go ahead and get this out of the box and see what all we're working with. Looks like we've got a quick start guide. This should be pretty simple. You're gonna be able to get everything connected up through the application and it has a wizard to walk you through it. So should be very easy. Here we have a power supply, one for each unit. This did come with an ethernet cable to get the first unit connected to your ISP's modem. Okay, and this was a two pack, so we have two mesh units. Before we get this set up, let's take a closer look at the unit itself. So on the front here, you've got lights for your WPS, your mesh, your internet, and the whole system. If we turn this around to the back, you've got your WPS button, you've got your two one gigabit LAN ports, a reset button, and your power input there as well. Overall, I really like the look of this. It's pretty minimal. I think it's gonna fit in wherever you decide to put it, whether that be in your living room, your office, or even in your kitchen. It's not super large, and I think it's really just gonna fit in anywhere you put it. To get this set up, we're gonna select the mesh system and confirm. We do need to go ahead and unplug the ISP router. Next up, we'll go ahead and connect the ethernet to the top port there and then the other side to the back of the ISP modem. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and power up the Dynalink router. This is very easy to get my phone connected to the internet via a QR code. Here, you're gonna be able to set up your own username and password for your network. Once you have your Wi-Fi name and password set up, now you'll go ahead and add the second Wi-Fi mesh point. You should find a good central location for your mesh point, at least halfway in between the original mesh point and then the place where you're trying to get. This is just a little area here that is in the middle of my house, so this is where I'm gonna set up the mesh point. All we have to do here is plug this in. Okay, and that just automatically added itself to the network through the application, super simple. So of course the standout feature of the AXC 10200 is the Wi-Fi 6E support. So most modern devices, if you get a new laptop, if you get a new cell phone, these devices are gonna be Wi-Fi 6E compatible. Wi-Fi 6 and below had access to the 2.5 gigahertz band and five gigahertz band. Wi-Fi 6E adds support for the six gigahertz band. This just means you have more lanes, for more devices to have faster speeds and better connections. With a six gigahertz band, you'll be able to achieve closer to the speed you're actually paying for. I have a one gigabit connection, and with Wi-Fi 6E, I can reach that on Wi-Fi 6E compatible devices, whereas before on Wi-Fi 6, I wasn't able to come anywhere close to that. This includes 160 megahertz channel support with tri-band speeds of up to 10,200 megabits per second. Of course, you'll only get the speeds that you're paying for from your provider, so there's no hacking or trickery going on here, but you can achieve those top speeds of up to 10,200 megabits per second over your wireless network. This is powered by a top of the line Qualcomm Maple 1 gigahertz dual core 64 bit CPU, which delivers high and stable performance for your needs, including virtual reality and other immersive experiences. With mesh, you're able to push out the more robust bands, the five gigahertz, and now the six gigahertz with Wi-Fi 6E to reach the rest of your house. With the AXC 10200, you're gonna be able to cover up to 6,000 square feet. That's larger than most homes in the US. This also expands connection availability. You'll be able to connect up to 200 devices to this system. This means that you won't have any dead zones in your house and you won't have to worry about devices losing connection. This does come with two gigabit ports so you can do wired backhaul here. If you have ethernet connections ran through your house, you could get this connected with wires. But what I love about this device is it does have Wi-Fi 6E backhaul so you get to get a good, strong, steady 
wireless connection between your routers and you don't have to wire these in manually. Another thing that I really love about the AXC 10200 is that it does include eight antennas. So this is a tri-band system with eight antennas. You get up to 10 dedicated wireless streams with this system. That means you've got a dedicated stream if somebody's watching 4K content, another dedicated stream if somebody is playing high intensity video games, and yet another stream for someone that's just surfing the web. And then you still have seven streams left over for other people to join the network. In addition to the 10 streams, you also get dedicated Internet of Things wireless connectivity. That means you never have to worry about the stability of the connection for devices like your vacuum cleaner, light switches, and even your thermostat. With support for WPA2 and WPA3, you get the latest security protocols included so you're safe when online with this mesh system. You also have easy guest Wi-Fi access here so you're not having to give out your personal internet password. Another thing that I like here is the profile-based parental control. So that's included with the mesh system. You don't have to pay extra for that. You're able to do things like block specific websites and pause internet access on a person by person basis, which I think is super useful. We're gonna test the speeds here in the office, which is closest to the main Dynalink mesh point. We'll go ahead and see what we get. All right, so here in the office, I'm able to get 945 down and 944 up. All right, now we're in the living room, which is essentially the middle of my house. So let's go ahead and test it in the middle of my house. Now that's impressive. We're still seeing blazingly fast speeds here at the middle of the house, 685 down, 748 up. That's incredible. Now we're gonna test it in the kitchen. This is the total opposite side of the house, furthest away from the office. Let's see what kind of speeds we get way over here in the kitchen. And my speeds are still insanely fast way over here. Just for fun, we'll test it out here in the front yard to see what kind of range and speed we're capable of getting. So even in my front yard out here by the street, I'm still able to get 363 down, 322 up. I think that's pretty impressive. Overall, if you have a house full of devices needing an internet connection and you want to future-proof your wireless network, then of course the AXC 10200 with its Wi-Fi 6E is a great option. I'll be sure to include links in the description of where you can pick this up for yourself today. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.